There are many basic features on your CP300 that are accessible by either the main buttons on the control panel or on the included remote control. And you see there are so many different things you can do with your CP300 and we want to make sure that you guys understand how to utilize all these cool new features. So, let's start with the features that we see on the main control panel. For example, zoom. Do you remember the shadow wheel that I mentioned earlier? Well, simply turn that shadow wheel left or right to adjust the zoom. What's great about the zoom feature in the CP300 is you're able to zoom up to 16 times. So virtually the smallest detail can be seen accurately. Once you are in your desired zoom level, you can now press the AF button to automatically focus your image. You can also use the arrows on the shuttle wheel to pan up, down, left, and right. To capture images directly to your CP300, press the Capture Delete button. And to view your saved images, press the Source button to go back to playback mode. Besides capturing one image at a time, you can also capture time-lapsed images by selecting the continuous mode. To do so, simply go to the menu, select capture, then continuous. After you have selected continuous, now select desired time interval. Your interval can be set from 5 to 600 seconds. Now that you're in the continuous mode, your CP300 will now automatically capture images based on your desired intervals. You can also freeze your image by simply pressing the freeze button. This is a great feature because I'm sure that sometimes you may want to examine an object without necessarily holding it in place the whole entire time. And if you need more light, simply use the integrated LED flip light for additional lighting. And finally, let's not forget about our patent laser positioning guides that can help you see what will be displayed.